It's not an if it's going to work. It's a when it's going to work. Because think about this, guys. If they're getting sales already when you meet them, before you like even done anything to them, they're getting sales. That means the moment that you plug in your 10 monetization, who else is getting sales? Who else is getting money? You are immediately. So what I did, this is when I was still an agency, I started subscriptions for local businesses. Oh, yes, Lord. Pain is profit, baby. All right. So okay. Justin, Justin, he said something that was priceless. He said, yo, my uh, my opt-in form on uh, my website is the reason why I haven't been getting any leads, right? So, well, I, I haven't checked your Google, so I'm guessing you're getting traffic and clicks and stuff. So that's good. So what you have to do, guys, is when you go into your builder all, let me go to my party bus site situation template thingy. All right. When you go to your builder all, when you log into builder all, you go to uh, mailing boss. You have to connect an uh, email list to this right here. You're going to have to like create a list. And you're going to connect it to this. And Builderall has tutorials, guys. They have a whole university. All you do is go to Mailing Boss, and it's going to show you exactly how to connect. That way, you're going to be able to collect all of your own leads and have control over those leads for a lifetime and be able to remarket to those same people, bring them back for more party bus ventures, sell them other stuff and all of that extra stuff to make money, guys. So I'm happy, Justin. Thank you, Justin, for bringing that up. So you're going to go into Builderall. You're going to go to Mailing Boss. You're going to select the site and you're just going to connect a list to this. And whenever somebody visits the site, it's going to like connect their email and their name, and their phone number, whatever you put right here and blah, blah, blah. Right. OK, so that is how you do that. That's the reason why. OK, thank you for bringing it up, man. I'm happy that uh, they were able to tell you that. OK, because we were so uh, trying to get them to call that we forgot about that they might even come in here. They might go in there because everybody don't want, they're not comfortable enough. They think that if they get on here, they're going to have to talk to somebody, uh, even though, well, right now they will because you don't have your IVR set up. But eventually, when you get your IVR set up, and that's I'm about to talk to you all about all of that stuff in a minute, um, then they'll probably be going through here for now. All right, so like I was saying, I listened to all of you guys' feedback. And the reason why the helicopter uh, rentals course isn't being released first is because if we go to copy and paste rentals first course, it's going to look very different. Ta-da! <laughs> I pretty much redid the entire course. I deleted a lot of the stuff and I've simplified it. Like it's way more simplistic. It's way more straight to the point. It's way like, okay, it's going to get you guys results like way faster. People have been making a lot of money from this already, but this is going to, it's, it's, it's structured as if you were maybe on a one-on-one -on -one with me and we just get straight to the money type situation. All right. So we got the welcome video right here, okay? And, uh, you know, basically the welcome video gives expectations and, you know, um, like when you can expect this to kick in and what I expect you to do, what you should expect from yourself, how to navigate through everything, how to find the resources, which you should know by now. And, of course, you guys already know this, go create your dang own channel and upload that is your daily entrepreneur uh what do you call it journal type situation we can track if you're actually doing the assignments when you upload here no complaints next all right let's get pricing out the way i listen to you guys there's a lot of you guys that get hung up on this part this part is the reason why some of y'all ain't made money because you, you're so stiff pause right <laughs> you're so stiff you're like all right well this is the price and you know i don't know what to do if they say that they you know can't pay that price and you just give up and you just lose the leads and and that's it and i'm like yo dog like we said that we don't want to cut into the profits of our partners we said we don't want to okay that doesn't mean that if one of your leads come in and say well, I don't. What if I don't want the vacation? What if I don't want the extra bonuses? What is the cost then? 
if they say all of that stuff, it kind of eliminates your irresistible offer and makes it to where you kind of like everybody else. So now all you can do <laughs> pretty much at this point is give them a decent price. That means you're not going to be able to charge too much more over industry standard. So what you then have to do is go to your partner and, and we're going to go uh, in a, in a, hold on. In a couple minutes, I'm about to show you guys how you're supposed to be finding partners in the first damn place. OK, and, and how you start is how you determine how the like the lifetime of your business is going to run, like instead of going back and putting out fi uh, fires and stuff. So if you've already found cool and flexible partners at the beginning, you don't have to worry about it. You can adjust when people say your prices are too high. Well, that's cool. My partner has already gave me a discount. So, for example, let's say that your partner uh, his normal quote for the four hour block is is four thousand, uh, not four thousand. I'm tripping. Is a thousand bucks. OK, so you like, OK, it's a 28 passenger, a thousand bucks. OK, on the Saturday. Right. Well, you say, hey, I'm going to be sending you multiple people at that thousand bucks mark, but I need to be profitable. Like, what's the most you can give me out of that that won't hurt you? OK, I can give you one fifty two hundred. Cool. So now, you know that he's willing pause i gotta say pause <laughs> he's willing to well i ain't gotta say pause i ain't gotta say go all right they're willing to discount a little bit all right and that means if you were to bump up your price over that thousand at least a hundred or two hundred at least you ain't gotta bump it all the way up to like 15 16 because your partner already discounted a couple hundred so they went down 200 you go up 200 that's a 400 dollars profit without making the party bus customer feel like damn you way more like expensive than everybody else i don't want the rest of your gifts and all of that i just want a flat party bus fee so now it makes it to where okay you can give them a a, a, a you know around the area of that without sacrificing your profits and without digging too deep and wounding your partner right but this is why I say you start the correct way. Take your time. Go on Groupon. Go on these other places where these people already, they already have discounted prices. Groupon did the hard work for you. They already told them, if you're going to sign up to my site, you can't charge your full price. So you have to charge this. They already agree to that. So if you find those people, let them be the partners and you're just going to send them the amount they agree to a uh, Groupon for. And, <laughs> and you keep a huge margin. So you charge regular price. So so check this out. You find them on Groupon and on Groupon, they 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 um, instead of a thousand bucks, they only charge in 400. Boom. But everybody else is charging a thousand out there. So when you tell a customer is a thousand, you're not uh, the customer is not going to feel like you're overcharging them because you're giving them the regular price. They don't know that the uh, the uh, the company is on Groupon, so that means you get six hundred dollar profit. That's how we pull these numbers off. You get six hundred, and the partner get four hundred, and they don't want to got the party bus. Unless you want to be nice and give them a you know that's up to you. I leave that up to you, right? So guys, is it your pricing? is adjustable you don't have to be stiff you don't okay i'm only going to charge it you can be flexible when you have a fish on the freaking line get the deal right if you can't negotiate with the customer then you your partner needs to appreciate you this is why i tell y'all to make a lot of partners call all these oh, i was about to say something call all these folks call all of them Put me in scared. Call them. Yo, you the 15th damn party bus comp company I'm calling. If I send you somebody for a thousand bucks, how much out of that thousand can you give me? Okay, well, you're number four on my list because you hella skeet. All right, next. All right, and you go down the line, get all your partners. And whoever gives you the highest amount of like profits and discounts, that's going to be your main man or your main whoever girl or whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's who you're going to be sending to other trips to first because they give you the biggest profit margins, right? If you have a list of partners, right, then then you 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 never run out of supply and you can always tell your customers, yes, 
This ain't agency department. Some of y'all in agency department. Agency department, I tell you, you only need one partner. And that's mainly because we're not caring about the upfront with that. It's more of a long term play where you're going to be making like hundreds of thousands of dollars from one freaking partner, you know, instead of like doing all. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about that type of stuff later. But for, for now, focus, y'all. All right. So we got the pricing out the way. That's this. Go and meditate on this right here. All right, and the knees are the same, you know, you're getting your party in sight and, and get your tracking and all of that extra stuff, uh, all of that. Okay, now let's move on. And here's right here, because some people are still confused about where as to find uh, where you get the vacation incentives. Do you want to go and create your own um, um, irresistible offers, partnerships with travel agencies, partnerships with restaurants, partnerships with events? And 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 uh, stadiums and all of that stuff, you can do that. Hire VAs or hire you know uh, somebody to go out and like you know make all these connections, or you can leverage an agency that's already made all them damn connections. So that's this right here. All right, next, and we'll get to the questions after we're done with this because these videos were burst from a lot of you guys' questions. So technically I am answering questions as I made these videos. So give me a second and we'll get to your questions, all right? All right, so these are platforms, like I said, to scope out potential partners. I have like five, six platform platforms in here, excuse me. All right, five or six platforms in here. Then this is something that I did not include in the first course. A lot of you guys are slow poking around and it's because I cared about your feelings. My bad. I apologize. Um, the scripture says the wounds of a friend are faithful. If I really care about you, I'm going to give you the real, no matter how you freaking feel about it. All right. A lot of y'all are, hey, I spend a hundred bucks to get in here. What else I got to spend? But then Labor Day weekend coming up and you worried about that and you're going to spend 400, 500. All right. You're going to. Uh, when when Fourth of July come around, you're gonna literally explode a thousand dollars, literally. But when you get in here, you're like, "What else I gotta buy?" It? Shut up, shut up. Don't ask me nothing like that no more. I will give you no. I ain't getting no refunds. I will kick you out. Don't ask me that type of stuff no more. If you're gonna be an entrepreneur, then change your whole mind. You can't be one foot out and one foot in. So if I get on a call with you or if I decide to help you, you do what I instruct you to do. All right. You don't hit me with some. Well, um, this weekend, I, um, you know, I told my sister I was going to take them to six. Flags. I don't care about that. I'm instructed. You hired me technically. To help you increase your finances. That's all I'm supposed to do. But there's no point in getting the coach if you're not going to listen to him. So I said all that to say this. The last course for copy and paste rentals only involved free, free methods, all of my free methods. But, but guess what, guys? A lot of free methods allow you, you know, they cause for you to do a lot of grunt work. All right. That's why leverage is so important. OK, because a lot of the free work. You know, a lot of the free leads and free sales and all that is going to be more hard work. You're going to pay somewhere. Everything costs. So you either pay in time or you pay in money. And we're all over the age of 18. So we need to grow up. Everything costs money. We're in a world of that wickedness and money. When kingdom come, we'll be free from that. But until then, that's what it is. If you want to be in front of a lot of people, you either do SEO, you either do joint ventures, or you run paid ads. Okay? So we have this Facebook ad that I'm giving to you guys to attract party bus partners. Okay? This is so that the partners come to you just in case you don't feel like going to all the platforms or calling or emailing somebody to try to find a partner or something like that. We run this and... They come to you. OK, so we literally show you in this video how to do that and actually give you the ad as well. OK, next. Everything is rapid. OK, I want you to get results as soon as possible. You need quick wins. Quick wins give you carriage 
quick win gives you confidence. Confidence to go on. If you see that you can win once, you know that you can win again. Okay. So Facebook ads can get you easy inbound bookings. Okay. All right. Next, this is something that was missing from the first one as well. What your Facebook chat bot should show and ask. Okay. So I got you guys the chat bot sequence that I've used over the years that still converts crazy. All right. All right. And next, you guys already know about the thumbtack autoresponder type situation stuff right there. Uh, what's next? All right. Another thing, if you guys are struggling to get the sales and stuff because of the price, guys, what you want to include in your irresistible offer is the fact that they can book now and pay later. Ooh, oh my God. Don't you see that at the car dealerships? And it takes the pressure off of a person when they're looking around at those $50,000, $80,000 cars. It still costs the same, but just knowing that you don't have to pay that today is like, whoo, nice. Where do I sign up? So you want to give that same effect to the people that are trying to get your party bus services. Being the fact that we partnered with them and you can go through me to get to them, right, and get the best deals you can offer financing. So when someone says, oh, I saw your price. I don't know if I can do that. Well, guess what? You don't have to do that. What do you mean, sir? Well, what do you mean, ma'am? Well, guess what? When you book today, not only are we going to give you 10% off all future bookings plus a $300 restaurant voucher add to that. Oh, my God. The eight day, seven night vacation complimentary through our travel partner, but you also don't have to pay us anything out of pocket today. You can just go ahead and get in, start enjoying, and you can pay us when you can. Pay us later. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Hashtag yes, Lord. So now you can offer that. You're going to get way more bookings than you would without offering it. Why do you think all the big boy companies, rental companies, uh, you know, furniture companies, uh, freaking, I don't know, farm equipment companies, everything like all <laughs> medical equipment. Com everybody offers financing except for low level entrepreneurs. And we wonder how the big boys become the big boys because the big boys leverage other people's money. You are really killing it when when you're not just using other people's money for yourself, but when you can give other people's money to the people that you want to give you money. That's when you're killing it. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I went on ahead and increased my uh, two-on-one and one-on-one -on -one sessions back to 5K. Why? Because I'm not charging out of pocket anymore. I lowered it because people had to pay out of pocket, but I have got back with this partner right here. Now they don't have to pay out of pocket. So this allows you, when you charge for the party buses, you'll get the money that day, like the, the entire like amount. 2,000, 3,000, whatever it is. But the customer, they get to pay over time. They don't even have to pay that day. They, they, you know, they have they get to pay over time. So it's literally painless for you and for the customer to offer financing. Yes, Lord. All right. Then we got this one right here. This one is still from the older uh version. Um uh, now, this is another one from the questions that a lot of you guys had. I told you I want to answer everything. I don't want no nothing holding y'all back. No bottlenecks. Yo, David, how do we collect payments? All right. So I'll show you how to go from like right now where you just like manually collecting payments and, you know, cash app, uh, Zelle, that type of situation. But you got to stay away, far away from Stripe and PayPal, please. But I also show you my high risk merchant account providers, the ones that will pay payment, uh, custom payment gateway on your websites. OK, so I, uh, I recommend two of them at the end of this, uh, this video on here. Uh, I emphasize more on one of them because the, the one that I emphasize on doesn't require like a lot of like history or. Or any of that extra stuff is payments and stuff like that. They're they're used to working with new entrepreneurs, so you wouldn't have no problem with them. All right, 
Then something brand new that I pulled out of my uh, the back of my wardrobe. Um, you guys might not have heard of this before, but creating party bus subscriptions during during the pandemic of 2020. This is something that made me, my students and a lot of local business a killing um, because everybody was closed up in houses, scared to go out. So a lot of uh, public businesses were suffering. So what I did, this is when I was still an agency. I started subscriptions for local businesses. Oh, yes, Lord. Pain is profit, baby. OK, so I was like, oh, snap. Um, nobody's going to come out to the movies. Hmm. And that's when me and my friend created a site before HBO Max, Prime and Netflix started doing it. And we were making deals with local theaters to stream the the in theater uh, movies straight to our site. The name of our site was La the live in. I had to shut it down once HBO them started doing the same damn thing. Sucks. Anyway, so it was like genius, right? So so you were able to I was running Facebook ads in, in local cities and stuff where right when movies was coming out and stuff. And I, I had a subscription where if they paid a certain subscription, they'll get discounts whenever the other movies came out. And we we plugged in to where they can like like pre-order so if they're like regular movie goer type people, they can pre-order like ice cream. I mean, not ice cream, like uh, the, the concession stand snacks and stuff like that that they would normally get. They would have that stuff delivered to their houses before certain movies came out. And uh, yo, we was freaking killing it, man. So so my point is this. Now, like I, I modified it to where it doesn't just have to fit during like COVID times or something like that. You can create subscriptions. Somebody come in, pay for the party bus. Guess what? Is other things they're going to want besides those bonuses. You got them on your list now. What are you going to do with it? See, this is why a lot of businesses struggle. They get people on their list and then they don't do nothing with the list. A lot of these companies got hell of people on their list that's bought from them before and don't even send out reactivation campaigns or emails that have related services uh, uh, to what they offer that they can get paid from or get a cut from. They don't know anything about affiliate offers or CPA offers that they can send out to. They, they don't know nothing about that. So we put them on the subscriptions and then we send them free uh, free offers throughout the months and stuff that they don't have to pay for. But there's there's something behind the curtain, I must admit. These free offers that's going to be going out to them are CPA offers. So that means we're going to get paid from those too. Man, this is a double-decker bus or a triple-layer salad. Yes, Lord. Okay. Now, we come over here. And this is the king's throne. Ensuring future sales through customer contacts. All right, guys. You get your first sale. You scream out Eureka and oh, my God, this is real. Then a couple days or a couple weeks go by before you get your next one and you start thinking maybe it's a fluke. It's not a fluke. You're still the same company. You still got the same offer. It's just that you need numbers. You got to do the numbers. Everything is about numbers. Right. So this is about increasing your numbers more rapidly in a more calculated way that you can predict your income. Everybody that comes in from your life event marketing, whether that's anniversaries, whether that's graduations, whether that's um, um, birthdays, whether that's somebody got a raise, uh, somebody just had a kid, like life event marketing is it, it's so effective because we all have these life events in common. That's why Party Buzz ads work so well, because it's not just one Libra in the world is is millions of Libras or billions of Libras, right? It's not just one Sagittarius it's, it's probably billions of them. Right. So like these life events we all have in common. So what am I saying? When you guys get a sale, if you know how difficult it was for you to get that sale, how come you don't guarantee your next couple sales? So what do I mean? This is what I used to do. I used to say, Hey, who all do you know? If so, if I got on the phone with a business owner, like let's say I wanted to grow a marketing agency 
to a hundred thousand. I don't like agencies no more. We don't do that. But let's say I wanted to grow a marketing agency to a hundred thousand dollars in 30 days. How would I do that? See, you you're like, what? That don't make no sense. That's impossible. Well, first of all, with God, all things are possible. So let me just check you right there. Second of all, it's about numbers. Everybody ain't broke just because we might be broke. Oh, ain't nobody. I, I would pay nobody ten thousand dollars. Well, that's you. It's people that just pay ten thousand dollars as a tip in some places. So those are the people that we reach out to. Those are the people that we get in front of. Let me say that. Okay. So plastic surgeons. I have a student or had a student. Her first deal was five thousand dollars from that, and she had no like she messed up so much, <laughs> and he still gave her the five thousand down dollars. Right. <laughs> right. So like it's people that just pay that like it's chump change because they got business. They got stuff to do and they just need a job fix. So what I would do is I would find a niche where they spend that like it's penny candy money. And after I get them good results, I'm going to say here, write on a piece of paper or text me every business owner that you are in business with. Or every business owner that you are friends with. What am I? Why am I saying this? All right, we're not going to do conflict of interest. I'm not going to deal with another plastic surgeon. But who did you get your car from? Who painted the exterior interior of your house? All right, like like who created your in-home theater uh, installation system? Right, like who is over your home security system? Write all of these people down. Reciprocity. You spent money with them, they will listen to you. Who has been your family dentist? Since you were a child, I'm pretty sure you still got them or know them. All right. So after they're done, that means I only had to get one sale and that one sale and they're going to sell for me like crazy. Why do you want the next two months off? I'll give you the next two months off. So they're going to go and sell like it's their freaking service. They're going to go sell like it's their freaking service. So why am I telling you this? Am I telling you to go start an agency? No, I'm not. But I am telling you that the people that buy your party bus services, they have friends, family, cousins, sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles, dogs, cat. No, they have all of that. So when they buy, first thing you should be asking is, all right, who's next? Who else's birthday is coming up? Do you have uh, somebody that's about to graduate this year? What day do they uh, what what date do they graduate on? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, do you guys do anything for Christmas? Who got an anniversary? Is your parents still together? They, they, get, they celebrate anniversaries? Man, write down all these people's dates and numbers and tell them I'm going to give them 10% off forever too. They're going to get the same bonuses that I'm giving you for this, this, this event that you're having right now. So if they're enjoying their self with, with, with it being your occasion, then they're definitely going to enjoy themselves when the spotlight is on them. So this is how you can turn one customer into seven to 10 sales. And then you're not sitting here crying about, oh, there's no new leads coming in. Hey, pause, but drain the freaking leads that come in. Oh, that's too expensive. Well, tell me who this wouldn't be expensive for. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't this be expensive for? Like, yo, like put me in contact with somebody that this wouldn't be expensive for. Right. Like, hey, well, if you go half with a friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell if, if you get a friend to go half with you, then tell them that I'll add this bonus when it's their birthday. So now I'm ensuring that they come around for their birthday too, a new regular customer. Like, dog, come on. Your net worth is determined by your you fill in the blank. Yeah, I heard it before. Don't look at a person as one sale. Don't look at a person as one sale, especially when you have slow traffic coming in. All right. So let me show you guys a little some some. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, the chat bot. So this is the, the Facebook ad that I have running right here. I just set this up for there and back transport. And this is the chat bot. And it allows me to uh we'll just click on it real quick close that and we'll open this up so we got a trigger right here the trigger is just the point where someone says something or does something and it activates the sequences that you have programmed into your chat box 
Remember what what the uh, title of this video is uh, inside the course, what your Facebook chat bot should show and ask. So one thing you guys haven't been doing is a lot of showing. OK, when we have our chat bots set up, whether it is like selling courses or whatever, we make sure we do so much showing It's way more imagery than it is like like text and stuff like that, because most people are visual and audio learner learners. I forgot what it's called when it's audio, but visual learners, I say that. OK, so they want to see things, right? Because they have lack of faith. <laughs> OK, so it goes from the trigger. The trigger asks them, uh, you know, like what day, how, how many hours, you know, how many passengers, that sort of thing. So. When it, once they answer that question, they're going to use some of these words that I have programmed in here just when they answer it. So it's going to automatically trigger this. So it says, cool, this is just one of the awesome buses that we have gassed up for your day. What do you think of the picks? OK, they're going to click on it. You, as you can see, we got 100 uh, percent click through rate where it says they're perfect. There's only been a couple people that came through this one so far, though. All right. So. Then it's going to automatically send them over here. It says, can you confirm to me one more time how many hours for your occasion? And it only allows us to put like three buttons. So so I had to skip eight hours. But hey, whatever. Four hours, six hours, 12 hours. OK, so they answer that. And guess what? Brings them right here. And it shows them some of the vacation destination. I couldn't put all of it in there because this is a Facebook messenger. Like they were like, damn, dude. So <laughs> it shows them the, the vacation destinations that they're going to get complimentary. And it tells them, well, I'll read it right here. And then it has a video image. It's not the actual video, a screenshot of the people eating at the restaurants. OK, thanks for that info. I'm getting the best price for you now. Also, we paid. We want reciprocity remember so we word it in a, in a particular way all right to make it feel like we've done something for them already now could you do something for us <laughs> now nah, i'm just playing all right we pay the travel agency thousands just so that we can offer hold on gotta let somebody in pause all right we pay the travel company travel agency thousands just so that we can offer a complimentary birthday vacation included with our buses, as well as partnered with restaurants to give our customers $300 restaurant vouchers to eat while they're out on the town. You'll be emailed the vacation destinations we offer you free for your birthday. What type of restaurants do you like? So we're, we're trying to get them dreaming, trying to get them fantasizing and really thinking about their day in detail. Like you got to give people like in it, make it really feel like you want to be a part of it and all of that. If it's just all robotic, like, yeah, it's going to be 1200 you know? <laughs> you know, that's how most of these companies answer the phone. Yeah, what you want? What day, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, we got Italian food, Asian food, soul food, 100%. Hashtag yes, Lord. Okay, so then we come over here. It's going to automatically bring them here. Okay, so after paying our partners to grant you complimentary vacation and fancy meals, uh, to enjoy your day. This is the lowest we could afford to drop the prices. Oh, also, we have a new program. So you pay zero out of pocket. You can book today, pay later if approved, which special works for you. I'm wording things properly. I didn't say which price. They need to know that they're special. They need to know that this is maybe even discounted or something like that. Okay. So four hours for $9.97. Six hours for 13, 20 or 50, I think. We can't see it. And 12 hours for 2,050, okay? All right. Then it automatically comes to this one right here. And you guys see this stuff inside the course, obviously. Okay, it says, perfect. If you decide to pay out of pocket, you don't have to pay in full today just to not miss out on everything you can, uh, uh, you can put down a tiny deposit, any amount that won't hurt you. That will hold your date price plus free bonuses. We will email slash text your booking invoice immediately. Choose an option below and welcome to your B-Day celebration. We hit them, hit them with that at the end because you want to always assume the sale. And 
We have pay in full option. And if they want to pay in full, it's going to take them to the next sequence, which I'll see in a minute. Uh, pay a tiny $100 holding fee. Okay, guess what? If they pay that, it covers the cost of my dang on Facebook ad and gives me some profit. And it's incentive uh, uh, enough for them to come back and pay in full unless they just want to lose that, right? Okay, so then lastly, it says finance this uh, uh, for you or finance this for me. So that's when it's going to take them to my financing option and where they don't have to pay out of pocket or nothing like that. See, we've thought of everything, man. And so y'all need some more answered. And then I'll add that to the course too. Okay, so then last message says, congrats. Your once in a lifetime guaranteed to go viral birthday is booked. We accept cash app business or Zelle invoices. Which would you like us to send to your email? Clap, 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 clap. And the audience goes, wow. Okay, so now this literally allows me to share this automation just in case you guys don't know how to like make this and do all this extra stuff right there, okay? All right, so now that we have did the whole rundown, I will go through. First, let me go back to the group real quick. I want to... Uh, answer a few things in here real quick then we'll get to you guys as like public questions like your, your uh, current questions i mean all right i hope to make 12k per month okay you can definitely do that he's trying to get in the atp program that is where you really partner with them from agency to partner uh okay let's see you plug in the 10 monetizations all right. He said, does anybody know which builder raw plan we should choose? Also, I heard some some I guess one mentioned that builder raw has a free trial. Everybody, listen up. All right. I'm from Southside St. Louis. You hear me? I had to pawn my wedding rings. It was a point of time where people thought that me and my family was on drugs. Like, dog, I've sacrificed. So the hood stories ain't finna get me, bro. Y'all need to stop looking for stuff like that. Don't keep, keep looking for this type of stuff. Get what you can get because you get what you pay for. And sometimes you can get deals, but most of the time you don't have full access to stuff when it's free. Right? Most of the time you don't. Sometimes if you're, if you're blessed like that, but most of the time, if it's a free trial, it's not going to have all the features until the, the trial is over. So you might as well just go ahead and get stuff. But if you want to get free trial, then, yeah, you can find a free trial for Builder All, I think, somewhere. Um, most people get, like I said here, most people get the $87 option. There is some option. I think it's, what, 37 bucks or 57 bucks or something like that. Hey, <laughs> do what you want, like guys. Like do what you want but guess what how you treat your business man like if you if your shoes cost more than you've spent on your education or on your entrepreneurship if your car or your house for that matter costs more than what you put into your education or your entrepreneurship you can't be mad at your finances because i've spent well over any amount of house that i've lived in just from learning and experimenting on every platform, failing, 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 succeeding, failing some more, failing, succeeding. So, like, yeah, it's a thirty-seven dollar option. Is a is is a. We used to have a free trial option. I remember I used to promote that one. That's how I got a lot of people in Builder Raw the first time ago. But I haven't seen it in a while. But you, if you go look hard enough, I promise you, you'll find a free trial. Um. Okay, let's get to another question i saw another question in here um how can we find the price of our partners in a party bus rental space in our local area i mean you can go to some of their sites some of their sites will have the prices like my partner in st louis but most of them are going to say call to get a quote <laughs> so guess what you can do you can call to get a quote not trying to be funny but that's literally what we had to do when we didn't know the prices of people's services. You know, um, we didn't have to call them. I mean, it ain't going to hurt you. You'll be alive after that. You know, Lord's will. Um, 
I mean, these are people you don't care about. So why why care about if they hang up? But they're not going to hang up if you call in and get a quote because they're going to think you're a customer. So, hey, I'm calling to see how much you will charge for a four hour block when it's 28 to 32 passengers on a Saturday. Give me a quote for that. Give me your best quote for that. OK, they get back with you. And then you say, all right, well, it's not for me. I'm sending you people for that. So out of that 1300 or 1500 or whatever it is, how much can you give me out of that so I can be encouraged, inspired to continue bringing you more free money? That's it. That's how you get the prices, y'all. That's literally how you get the prices. OK, uh, you know, we can try to go around it, you know, uh, but it's just faster. It's just faster. It's faster to. Yeah. <laughs> it's faster to pick up. Pick up. Y'all remember back in the day in the night, what was it, the late 90s? <laughs> pick up the phone, the damn hotline uh <laughs> commercial. Pick up the damn phone, man. Um, all right. So I want to say something about this one real quick. Welcome everybody that's been coming in over the past week or two. Um uh, hi, my name is Jamie. I just joined copy and paste rentals because I'm looking to make 5k a month. I found this on YouTube and I saw Keith on YouTube and was interested in the video I saw. My goal is hold on, man. I'm hearing feedback. Mute yourself. My goal is to be able to make some extra side income as well as learn new things. All right. All praises to the most high. I'm grateful for everybody that that uh joined and everything. One thing I want y'all to realize is this is for you. You didn't join for me. I make money from the actual things I'm teaching y'all guys too. Okay. Yes. Courses are extra income stream. Awesome. I'm not going to lie about that. Hell yeah. I want more income streams. Who doesn't? Okay. But this is for you. If you approach entrepreneurship, especially coaching, like you're doing the coach a favor, then you're going to have trouble because you're not going to go hard because you don't think it's for you. You think it's for them. Okay, guys? So I need you to realize that's the first thing you need to recognize when you purchase coach. They don't even have to be for me. You can leave me and go somewhere else, but it doesn't change the fact that when you buy something, if you buy some chips, you know it's yours. If you buy some shoes, them yours. You'll get mad if you walk in the house and see your sister wearing yours. Without your permission, it, it's yours. So when you purchase something, it is yours. This is for y'all. So if you take ownership of this new experience that you guys are tackling right now, then you will put everything you got into it. The Bible says, whatever you put forth your hand to do, do it with all thy might. You don't dabble. So I just want to correct a few things, guys. I want y'all to stop looking at this as optional. I want you to stop looking at it as a, a side gig or a side hustle or just something extra, because that's why it's never going to take off for some of y'all. Those of you who look at it like, yo, this is what I want to do, at least until I can leverage it to go to whatever like real passion or dream that I got. If you look at it like it's your main source. OK, then you're not going to get discouraged if somebody tell you no. If you get a couple leads that don't close or 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 if you have a couple hiccups, if your ad don't get approved, you're not going to say, you know what? Let me go back to YouTube. I saw something about, you know, day trading or or, you know, some other type of my dog. You're going to keep hopping around your whole life. Half of y'all are over 30. When when are you going to just be like, yo, let me just see what would happen if I get past the pain. OK, so if y'all want to make these numbers, we got a 5K right here. We got the 12K up, up there. Where are you at? Where are you at? We got the 12K up here somewhere. Yeah, 12K right here, guys. These are all reasonable. You saw the people on the YouTube. Those are real actual people. All right, let me let me show you. Hold on. We got, where we go? There's a Keith. There he is. That's Keith. That's a real person. Hold on. Here's Bruno. The one that, uh, with the, the site for construction, that's been killing it for three years straight. But these are people that, I, that, that I've been on one on one sessions with multiple times that have been in multiple of my courses that like some of them I even call brothers. One of them is a dang on 20 percent like 
like equity owner in the in in AJU now. <laughs> like, yo, you can't be like, yo, this is just, you know, when I get home, I think about this maybe. You <laughs> listen, this has to be priority, y'all. At least until you get you hear all these millionaires, oh, average millionaire has seven incomes. Okay, cool, but most of them don't don't tell you that they focus on one of them first. And then they pulled from that one to create the other ones. You don't need loans and all of that if you got one of your business models already working. So please, guys, all I ask is that you take this serious, serious. But uh, Hakeem, let me see. Is, is, is Hakeem on here? Uh, hold on. Because I need to answer this. Ah, he wouldn't be on here now. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, um, listen, a couple of y'all are buying multiple of my courses like I'm not going to see it. Just because I got customer support don't mean I'm not going to see it. And just because you, I'm getting money don't mean I want you buying all of my courses. <laughs> I want you to focus. Your testimonial is far more like lucrative for me and beneficial for me than you spending a couple more dollars on another one of my courses. That don't that's that's not going to help you and it's not going to help me. But your focus. I appreciate that your dedication. I appreciate that. And you should appreciate that from yourself as well. That's what's going to change your life, not just an abundance of knowledge and and the courses. You understand it? That'll make your head hurt. OK, I want you all to pick a niche, pick a model and go Hard scale. There's simplicity. The Bible says it's simplicity in Christ. Did you know the Old Testament had 600 something commandments and laws that we had to keep under Moses? And if we didn't, if we broke any one of those, we would automatically, if 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 it wouldn't be covered by the bullocks that the Levites would sacrifice to uh, for our sins, if we couldn't cover that sin with that, we automatically go to hell. And it was so hard to try to keep 610 commandments and laws or rules. It pretty much would guarantee that you was going to hell. So he had to send his son, the comforter, to cover for our sins and make it what? You still got to follow commandments, but law brought a new, uh, but Christ brought a new law. He made it simplistic. Just follow me. Just follow me. That's it. Whatever I would do in that situation, do that. You ain't got to memorize 610 freaking laws and all of that extra stuff like that. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You don't need 10,000 courses. You don't need to go back and watch 15 more YouTube videos. You don't need to know everything about every business model before you take action. Just follow what's laid out before you and it will piece itself together. I promise. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go into you guys' uh, chat and answer the questions that you guys huh. okay uh jamie came on late but we went over this when from here i can't show you thumbtack every time i create a thumbtack account from where i am in panama it gets deactivated automatically if i log into my thumbtacks that i have that was created from my u.s partners it will be detected and those will get shut down as well. But hold on. I got a solution. Give me one second. We'll come over here and we'll just type in. Ta -da! And it's like an abundance of these mugs, you know, <laughs> and you just literally you follow like how what you see inside the course and stuff. You're just going to sign up the same way everybody signs up is pretty much just like any other um what do you call them profiles like when you sign up for facebook you know um you're just gonna answer the ask the yeah answer the question answer the questions that they ask you about uh the business like when did it start um how many hours would you like for people to book for what services you provide uh what areas you'll cover and that's that's pretty much it that's it but like, like that's literally it, I promise you, within like three minutes, 
Within three minutes, you'll have your profile set up. Everybody that's made money in the past year with me set up their thumbtack profile and got crazy leads from it. And that's where they got most of their leads from. I'm just now introducing some of y'all uh, to the Facebook ads. So it's not like I've been showing them something different than I showed y'all. Most of them been getting their bookings from them, uh, the thumbtack as well. Okay. Um, so let's see. What are the updates in CPR? I don't see them. Okay. Who is AB? I don't know who that is. Okay. But I don't know how you don't, don't see them. Uh, refresh. Refresh your course. This is the course right here. Let's go back home. This is what you're going to see. When you come into copy and paste rentals, this video is new right here. This video right here is new right here. This video right here is new. This video right here is new. I literally pretty much did the entire course all over again and made it easier. This one right here is new for the Facebook ads. This one right here is new. This one is new for the chat bot. They already had this one. This one right here is new to offer financing. This is new, collecting payments, how to really collect the payments, creating party bus subscriptions, the payments for yourself, and ensuring future sales. So it's all new in there. Okay. Mark asks the great question. Hey guys, if I start yelling, is because um, they have these weirdly made roofs out here in Panama where you can hear the rain. It is just like, what the hell? So it sounds like it's hella loud. Y'all might not even hear the rain, but I just be want to make sure y'all can hear me. So I might start talking a little bit louder. If I get too loud, just tell me, yeah, we can hear you good in the chat. All right, so what do you do when your leads start res stop responding? You use them as bait. You take those leads, you go over to Google, you find people that are spending money on uh, leads, meaning they're running Google ads, or they're doing awesome SEO, they're ranking at the top of uh, uh, Google for party buses, or you can stay on the same platform, which is Thumbtack, and you can reach out to the other party bus people there because you already have proof that they're paying for leads. So you can tell them, hey, I'm the dude from this company and my listing is ranked above yours. Um, I charge way more than you. So what I want to do is send you the leads that can't afford my services. How much will you give me for them? Boom. There you go. You monetize every lead that comes in. Or you can use those leads as bait to gain partners for Agency to partner, where you're going to plug in the 10 monetizations, where you're going to be able to get profit share from their company, where you're going to be able to get equity from their company. OK, so that's what you do with those dead leads. You use them. Guys, you're never broke. Unless you just, you know, stop. OK. Take those leads and use them. Yo, necessito más, man. Necesito más. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that it's cooking. I need to eat that now. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right. So, LOL, this is what I also was thinking to offer financing after watching the, the, the video. So, he's referring to... Uh, Oh, Shay. Shay is referring to uh, the interview that I did over there on YouTube with um, with my Flex by partner. Ax answered all. I got all the answers to all the questions and all of that stuff from him on that interview. Y'all should check that one out over there. Uh, but basically, it goes back to my motto. You know, if you're selling something and a customer can't afford to buy what you're selling, give them the money so that they can give them back to you. 
give me, you know, I'll give you the money and you just give it back to me. Okay. So you find a way to do that. It automatically increases your conversions. Can a party bus template, George asks, can the party bus template be fixed to say name of the contact form? Uh, it also, it says phone prefix on the first line of the template form. Yeah, you can add a phone number slot right there so that you can collect their phone number. The reason why we have it like that is because when you're running Google Ads, the least, uh, the less that you ask for, the less information you ask for, uh, the more likely the lead will actually like sign up. So you get micro commitments from them and everything like that. But you can add a phone number situation on there so you can follow up. Okay. Okay. George left his text and and said his number to text for when we're doing Q and A's. If y'all all, all want to do that so that y'all never miss a Q and A, that'll be smart. You can go, uh, but don't put it in here unless you want everybody to have your number. Go to Facebook and just text, uh, put your number inside the inbox, like inboxing, and we'll save that so that y'all can all get uh, notified and everything. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, so let me stroll back down. Terrell says, can you talk more about the agency to partner program and how it will relate to copy the copy and paste rentals program? Well, just like there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, <laughs> it's all the same. Business is all the same. Leads, sales, and, you know, like recycling. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's pretty much it. So if you can control the traffic and, you know, you can lead that to the offers, then you're going to make money. Now, how does this program differ from the others? It's still going to all be the same marketing, but is creative deal structuring in agency to partner. OK, copy and paste rentals is just straightforward. Um, you're just getting sales and you're building your income that way. Uh, if you want to scale that up, you simply add locations like a directory. So, for example, if you're making uh, three thousand dollars in in um freaking plano texas I, I don't know i'm just pulling one out of my kunduni if you're making three thousand dollars in plano texas all right well go to spring texas okay then go to humble then go to houston you know then go to like like the woodlands then go to like some other places that's how you would scale with copy and paste rentals it's just about getting the like the transaction handled okay but with agency to partner is not about the abundance of partners. Actually, it's about minimization. You zone in, you get one or two partners, you plug in the 10 monetizations, and you're simply going to scale from there. After you plug in the 10 monetizations, and that's another thing, with agency to partner, you're looking for companies that's already doing good. They're already making money because as soon as you start plugging in the monetizations, you start making money yourself. This is before you even start working on the projects. For example, I'll give you an example. Okay, let's say you get, let's say you turn one of these party bus people into a real partner. In the agency to partner model, the first thing you would have them do, which they agreed to per the contract that you get, the first thing that you'll do is have them switch over all of their payment buttons online and offline they have to get a brand new pos system to accept payments and in, in person card readers all of that and online they'll get a custom gateway through your partner you get 50 percent of transactions online and offline not transactions my bad 50 percent of transaction fees the transaction fees online and offline for example if something costs um, a thousand bucks at their company. Usually when you swipe the credit card for a thousand bucks, right? Um, that company might get 960 or if they're blessed or 940 bucks. Let's, let's use the 40 example. All right. So they're selling something for a thousand bucks. The company gets 940 bucks. Where does that other 60 go? It goes to the 
uh, the processing company, the car processing company, the car process processing company in which you partner with. So that 60 bucks is the transaction fee for credit card processing. You and that company split that 60 bucks from that transaction. So if you partner with a dealership and that dealership is selling 10 cars, 15 cars a day or, or something crazy, every single like transaction they get that goes through there you know i mean you get 50 percent of that and that's just one of the 10 monetization methods that we plug into our partners so this is why you want to partner with companies that's already doing good see in the agency model the the typical agency model they teach you to go after companies that's not doing good hey they need to have a pain point <laughs> <laughs> and usually when you're selling something, yeah, you know, common sense tells us to like, you know, sell, sell the, you know, <laughs> sell the treatment or, or something, you know, rather than a vitamin, you want to sell like a pain pill or, or something. And I get it. And I do that, too, in some of my business models. But for agency to partner, like since I'm not really begging them too much for no upfront, because the more you require the more you look like an agency right <laughs> the more you try to get them on some monthly retainer you resemble the other agencies that's reached out to them so my goal is to provide as much as i can give them up front because then it gives me power and authority in a relationship they need me so that means they're going to agree to more of my terms in my agreement form which includes me plugging in, having the right to plug in my 10 monetizations. Hey, since you're not paying me anything monthly, this is how I get paid. Do you want all of these new sales or not? When you're never going to have to pay for marketing and advertising again, just by partnering with me. Exactly. It justifies. Okay. So that's just one of the 10 monetization methods that make it to where we don't even need to charge them like monthly or upfront. So check this out. If you get a company that ain't making no money or they're not getting a lot of traffic and then you try to plug in the 10 monetizations, yeah, you're going to be hurting for a minute because you got to go and start getting them some traffic now. So it would make more sense. Go after people that's getting traffic already. So let me give you an example instead of just talking. Okay, let's go to Google. All right, so we'll say uh, Houston uh car dealerships boom so we can pretty much guesstimate that a search term like this in a city like that is getting over ten thousand, at least ten thousand searches per month these people in the top three have to split that traffic of the ten thousands okay getting one of these partners in the three pack when this gets 85 to 90 percent of the traffic on the first page of google getting any one of these partners guarantees me at least hundreds of visitors to their site per day okay so well obviously people aren't going to buy from the website so how would we monetize that online that's where the other monetizations come in we have other monetizations where we're going to be adding certain pages and doing certain things to capture their existing traffic, their existing customers. This is the Trojan horse method, only is designed to grow them as well instead of kill them. <laughs> OK, so you and them, you know, because they always say this. I don't know if you guys ever had an agency before, but when you try to charge them up front or monthly, their natural thing is to suggest um, some type of profit share or commission type situation. I used to deny that. I used to say, hell no, nah, I'm not going to go do this SEO stuff and, and you just give me a cut. That was the dumbest thing I could have ever said. Because if they if they give me $1,000 a month, but I'm making them fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month, I'm stuck at $1,000 a month. But if I was getting a cut from every sale, I would be far past $1,000 a month. But the greed in us says, no, I need you to pay me now. So like, and that comes from the fear. You have fear 
that you're not actually going to be able to rank their websites. You have fear that you're not uh, going to actually be able to uh, run their ads and get them sales and stuff like that. Well, being that I have uh, a lot of experience in the space now, teaching, participating, you know, winning and all of that, I know I can get results. I know I can rank stuff. I can rank anything. I can rank a Twitter tweet. Yo, I know I can increase their sales. So when they tell me something like, yo, can I just give you 40% of what you bring in? I say, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> because soon you're going to be begging to give me a flat fee because I'm going to get a cut of every damn thing. So I teach you can offer, um, you know, you can you can get like a setup fee. Tell them, OK, like, let's say you burning or you you hurting right now and you just need some money right now. OK, well, get a setup fee. OK, that's what Samantha did. Samantha got the ten thousand um, dollars as a setup fee. That's not monthly. And now her job is to plug in the 10 monetizations. Because once you plug in the 10 monetizations to those gems, it's going to be worth far more than them just paying her $10,000. Every, every member of those gems is now her member as well. Every supplement that's sold is now going to be a commission for her. Their email list, their SMS list is, is now hers as well. Any transaction is partially hers as well. So now I have incentive to give you my undivided attention, Mr. Business Owner, because in the other agency model, my incentive is to get 100 people paying me $1,000 a month. I can't sit and get you great results because you only gave me 1000 bucks. I need to keep prospecting and getting more people. Well, with the agency to partner program, you can get one partner. You can get two partners. Give them all your undivided attention if you only want one. Use what I teach you in order to increase their traffic, but they're already going to have traffic to begin with if you go after the right partners. So that means just immediately start plugging in the 10 monetizations and you're going to start earning from the moment that they're set up. And then you start building them out using the money that you're making that they already were bringing in complete leverage. So that's the difference between copy and paste rentals and agency to partner. All right. <clears throat> Let's move on because I got to eat. I haven't had nothing to eat except for them little pieces of beef bacon my wife brought me. All right. So are these the key questions to ask partners? How much of a discount could you offer me on your original price? Uh, what is the best pricing you can offer me hourly plus gratuity? What is your Groupon pricing for a five hour, 20, 30, 40 passenger bus hourly gratuity? Are these the correct questions to ask? Good, good question, George. Yes, those are the correct questions to ask. If they're not on Groupon, you will still ask the other questions. OK, you just want to know first, like, yo, what's the best you can give me? Right. And then you're going to ask, yo, and I'm, I'm happy you put the gratuity on that, too, because on the sites, they always say this does not include gratuity. So tell them, yeah, include the gratuity. Like, what's the best you can give me for four hour, six hour, 12 hour block? OK, and then once they give you that. You reveal that you're not you're not trying to like deceive them or anything, but you just let them know, yo, this isn't for me. Uh, I do events and I always get requests for transportation, but I'm spending my own money to bring you these people. So how much out of that blank quote could you afford to give me that won't hurt you? Like like when I bring you somebody, how much could you give me out of that so that I can continue bringing you some more somebody's telling you that somebody? Are you that some? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. IVR, not IVA. It stands for interactive voice response. Oh, somebody must ask that. Uh, how do we know if we have a good partner? What are the signs? Like answering all of my questions, etc. That's a very good question, Jamie. Okay. What's an IVR? Give me a second. I'm about to get to that. I'm trying to see what I missed. 
Okay, so I told what the difference was about the the uh, programs. What's an IVR? He answered that. That's good. How do I make the number clickable? You have to put it in the link section. The actions. You gotta go to where is the actions. It's gonna when you click on the button. Okay, let me come over. Here. When you go inside Builder All and you click on this button right here, it's gonna open up the editor and it's gonna have a link section. It's gonna have a, a little button option uh, where it says link. And you're gonna click on that and you're gonna go to where it says phone. And then you're just gonna enter your phone, uh, the you know your tracking number, and it's gonna automatically be you know clickable. Just make sure you guys are publishing your sites. Don't forget every time you make a change, click the publish button and save this site button. All right, all right. Signs to know if you're a good partner. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good question. Well, flexibility is always a good sign if they have zeal. That's a good sign. Once they figure out what you're doing and they start like hitting you up or asking you like what else could they do like to make this speed up or something like that. Those are good signs that you have a good partner because then you can start saying, hey, well, um, if you wouldn't mind verifying this Google business profile for me so that I can rank it. That's definitely something you can do because then guess what? You guys can start harnessing some of that free Google traffic. Then after you plug in the snack and pack, uh, snack pack attack, um, course. Okay. Yeah. So them being flexible on price, them being flexible on like hours and stuff and days and all of that stuff. Them being, um, uh, uh, having zeal and, and, uh, you know, they're, they're um, excited about it or something like that. That usually happens after using a couple leads or after you send a couple jobs. It you'll know if they're excited about it. You'll hear it in their voice. That's good. Once you can get excitement out of them, then you can like plug in. Like if you're an agency to partner, you can plug in the ten monetizations. If you're not an agency to partner, at least you know that you'll be able to have somebody that'll work with you. My St. Louis partner is like super awesome. Okay, like shoot, sometimes they're fixed pricing. They'll they'll budge on that, you know, just to make sure we don't lose the person. You know what I'm saying? So those are signs where they care about the overall success of like what's happening rather than every single little penny or or being able to say, no, this is my company and we don't do this. We don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Okay. All right. So those are some good signs. All right. Also, like I said, if they're helpful, if they're if they're um if they are open with you, like if they're open minded to try some of your suggestions, hey, do you think we can like put the offer on your website? I believe that it will convert more. Hey, uh, you know, what if we change the offer to this, right? What if we put the opt-in button over here? Like, if they're open to stuff like that, then you got a good partner. Uh, okay, so I answered that. Yes, gratuity is, yeah. Terrell says, ah, that makes sense. How does starting an online bank process work? Oh man, y'all y'all going all off now. Like, keep it on copy and paste rentals and agency to partner, right? Because he's talking about over here, my former agency, uh, profitpositioningpartners.com. One of my products is we build online banks for businesses. Okay. Um, but as you can see, I mean, even though we got the financing and stuff, guys, like I wouldn't recommend this to y'all unless you don't, unless you just really want to. I've sold it to a lot of people on the YouTube channels and all of that extra stuff. I see that it has way better use for local businesses because they have way more capital and way more like, like reason to have this, like it benefits them more. Like if you're just trying to start your own cash app, like that's what I was promoting it as before. But 
which I got to realize is every single state that you want to operate in requires you to have something called a money transfer license. The only state that does not require this is Montana. Now, what I usually recommend, uh, like YouTube entrepreneurs, I say that because you guys come from YouTube. I didn't meet you outside of this, but most people that you meet on YouTube are like discounters, not, you know, not saying as y'all, but most people on YouTube come in, they try to be cheap, just being real. So, you, you know, you get the bank, let's say that you go ahead and do this. You know what I'm saying? You go and you set up in Montana. Guess what? You can do that. You can grow big in Montana. Before we had the internet, before we had financing and all of that type of stuff, most banks were local to their location, if we want to say that. And they didn't have like branches all across the world and all of that at one point in time, but they still held millions of dollars inside those banks. So if if you want to do that, where you start in Montana first, where you don't have to have the money transmitter uh, license to be legal, and then you just save up all your profits for that year, and then you go into another state and build up that way, then cool, you can do that, right? But a lot of people don't have the tenacity, the endurance, and and all of that extra stuff to like do it. Like most of the people that I've done is with that weren't actual local businesses. I don't even know where the hell they at. They just disappeared because they're embarrassed that they gave up. Okay. But the next state that you can do that in is Hawaii, where I was born. And it is only a thousand bucks for the transmitter license there. Um, but you get all of that information and all of that if you were to get that you know the bank in a box situation at one point in time i was selling this to you guys on youtube some of you guys ten thousand bucks i even brought it to five thousand and those people still ain't do a lot with it i'm like yo me i did mine with truckers it's way better to like like pick a niche i always tell y'all that and like do it with a specific niche and stuff but then when when stripe took away their uh, they used to have a shared banking license. They allowed you, if you had your platform, to share their legalities and all of that stuff. And you can leverage their licenses instead of having to go and get a uh, money transmitter license in all 50 states. But now they took that away. So you have to get your own licenses. And in some states, it's like a million dollars to get a license. If you want to do it in New York and Cali and all these, come on, man. Shit, please. You better do it in Montana. Start in Montana, then go to Hawaii, and then I can't remember the next place. But even just doing it in those two states, you'll get extremely wealthy. So, I mean, that's why I don't understand why the people didn't like see it through that I was doing that with. If that's a goal of yours and you're going to see it through, then do it. I, I like these little small operations where I can give the local uh, businesses the banks, and I know that they're going to actually like make a killing with it and it's going to change everything for them. Okay. But anyway, um, what are your thoughts about doing an ATP model and solar? Um, it can be done in any niche. What you need to decide on is um, like difficulties of payment collecting. One of our biggest income streams of doing this model, especially once we increase traffic and sales, is payment collection. Now, I don't know, but how does a payment, I mean, how does a solar company collect the payments? Do they collect it online? Do I don't got I don't have solar. Do they collect it in person? Do they have credit card readers? Do they have payment buttons? Or is it through some other way of collecting payments? Because me, I will go with businesses and companies that have traditional like ways of collecting payments. That way everything is trackable. I don't want uh, sent invoices or, or, or some crap like that where I can't really like track when the business owner is getting every freaking sale. I need them to have like, like, like it's retail or something where they got the credit card reader sitting on the counter. The customer comes in, they swipe for what they want type situation. They go on the site, they add the cart, they buy like that. It needs to be simplistic. But you can do it in any niche because guess what? You still got nine other monetizations that you can plug in. Uh, <clears throat> can you use Call Fire with Thumbtack without a website? Yes, you can. 
I gotta go back on the clock, says Jamie. Or uh, you probably already gone. Well, if you if you looking at the recording of this, adios. All right, Terrell says, ooh, or oh, I don't know which one. Um, sorry about that. I thought it was one of the monetization methods. Uh, sorry about what? You, I don't think you said nothing wrong. All right. <clears throat> Questions are permissible. That's why we're doing this. There's nothing wrong with asking the question. All right. Can you tell us how to conduct a closing call with partners that we are attending, intending to apply the 10 monetization methods with? Is it re-explaining what I'm going to do and obtaining the access needed from the partner? I may have two calls this week. All praises to the most high. Okay. Yeah, I really have to zone in as well. Or the formula for local high foot traffic niches. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'll just say this. Business owners care about one thing. That is profit. Why do you think I named my eight old agency profit positioning partners instead of lead gen partners or lead gen agency or lead this lead that because they care ultimately the end goal how much money am i gonna have after it's all said and done with that being said on this call that needs to be the focus of the call the 10 monetization methods is for you to know and for them to find out no i'm just playing with you but <laughs> they're on the need to know basis since they're not paying you monthly Everything they need to know is going to be on the agreement form. So when you're talking to them, you're simply letting them know you're not going to have to pay for leads anymore. You're not going to have to close sales anymore that come from me. I'm going to send you actual money. Like you're going to get an email, uh, a notification showing that I made a payment to you for what your prices are. And then you're going to get another email that shows you where you have to pick up the person, where you're dropping them off and how many hours it's going to be and all of that. That's how it's going to go. And you're going to notice that the phone call volume is going to increase because I'm going to be increasing the traffic. Your brand visibility will in turn increase the sales. I'm going to add new income streams that you're not going to have to pay out of pocket for. I'm going to add new income streams you're not going to have to hire anybody for. I'm going to add new income streams that doesn't have any overhead to them. You don't have to train staff to handle. I'm going to handle that. I just want to be your partner. Once you agree to partner with me today, you can expect an increase in traffic and sales before the week is out. That is how you handle the close. That's it. Then they're going to say, well, so how much is this? Well, I just told you I want to be your partner. Your partner wouldn't charge you monthly fees, but since we both have skin in the game and I'm going to be doing all of the work, including marketing, traffic and sales out of my time and pocket, since I have already been sending leads to all of these other people and they're interested as well. What's the most you can give me for a setup or a handshake just a one time just to show me you're serious about like being my exclusive partner where I'm not sending you the same deals and leads that they were getting. Boom. But. Let me let me like like really clarify something. Remember the important was important. Remember what the QB is, the quarterback, what you have to protect so you can win the game. Remember what needs to be defended at all times, and that is the partnership. What do I mean by that? What you your your little upfront fee don't mean nothing in the grand scheme of you plugging in the ten monetizations. So if you've done your due diligence and these people are already getting traffic and sales and you can you can see that visibly, you can like confirm it. You know that they're getting calls and all of this stuff because they're ranking and they're running ads and they're on these thumbtack platforms. You know, they're getting traffic. Well, guess what? Forfeit the freaking setup feed in the quicker you <laughs> plug in the 10 monetization methods. That's all. All that matters. I promise you, that's all that matters. They're going to have to go to you for new equipment. They're going to have to go to you for new vehicles. They're going to have to go to you for, for loans. They're going to have to go to you. Yo, 
I'm trying to be a man of God, so I'm not going to use profanity. So I'll just abbreviate it. F the dang on upfront fees. F the monthly fees. I know, I know, I know the programming is tough. The indoctrination from YouTube is crazy. I get it. Everybody, hey, I made 15000 last week with 15 headache clients. Don't you want to do what I do? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. You get a partner that is doing well already. Only thing better than money in business is more money. So we seem to think that just because they're doing well, they won't want to partner with. No, 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 no. Show them you got more money. Why do you think it's billionaires? How come they didn't stop after they were a millionaire? Because only being better than money in business is more money. Those same billionaires are trying to be trillionaires right now. So find people that are doing well already, because that means if you leech on, you attach, you tick, you parasite onto them, then you automatically do well. Now your success is not in your hands anymore, is it? Now it's not a cross my fingers anymore. Now it's not a, I wonder if it's going to work. It's not a if it's going to work. It's a when it's going to work. Because think about this, guys. If they're getting sales already when you meet them, before you like even done anything to them, they're getting sales. That means the moment that you plug in your 10 monetization, who else is getting sales? Who else is getting money? You are immediately. And then you start enhancing what's already working for them. You start building out the digital twin. See, in the agency to partner program, we teach you to build twins of the assets that they already have that's making them money. And these twins, you either own 100% of them or you own 80% of them. But if you were to part ways, those twins go with you. But they funded the creation and build out of those twins. So that's literally, I mean, you wouldn't say all of that, but what I said before <laughs> is what you would say on the call. That's what you want to say. You're just letting them know you're bringing them more money. All right. Like you're not going to have to close sales anymore. I'm going to uh, handle the lead generation. I'm going to close them. I'm going to collect payments. I'm going to send you the money. I'm going to send you the information of what uh, the customer data. You're going to own the customer data as well. Um, I'm going to add some more hands off, uh, no overhead, no staff needing income streams. And we're going to grow together as partners. Boom. I mean, you don't have to pay me anything up front, but if you want to like, like incentivize me to like, like really put a move on this, then you can give me a little bit up front because then I could just add that as fuel to the fire of what's already working. As you can see, I've already sent you some leads. I already sent you some jobs out of my own. So yeah, you'll just be throwing like, you know, fuel on a fire if you were to give me something up front, but I don't need your money. What did he say? Well, who was that? The Temptations? I can't remember. What, five RB? One of them. I don't need your money. Yeah. All right. So I don't need your money, man. Let them be like, be clear about that. Because when, when these business owners think you need their money, they treat you like an employee. And that's usually being treated bad. Nah, nah. If I leave, your company goes to crap. They need to know that. All right. Um, so that was an awesome question. You guys had some awesome questions today. Anybody else have any more questions? Remember, I'm on here now. If you have questions, don't be shy. No question is a dumb question. Trust me. And most of the questions y'all got, somebody else got that same question, but they scared to ask it. So just, just ask, just ask the question if you have a question. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's agency to partner. Or if it's um, um, copy and paste rentals, ask the question. If it's a question about uh, two on one sessions, one on one sessions, ask the question, whatever it is. All right, Shay said, can we just open up to other locations uh, using the same website and lead gen tools? Of course. That's what I was talking about with copy and paste. Right. But you want to remember that, like, make sure that this partner services those locations, because if not, then if you open up those locations, you're going to have to get more partners. Remember, 
if you focus, you can pull your six to seven figures from one or two partners. Okay, you don't need a lot of people. So if your partner has multiple locations, cool. Yep, you're just gonna like, dog, the way you get to your millions is just like duplicating what works over and 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 over. People try to leap from $100 to a million dollars. But guess what? If you figure out how to speed up the time in which you get those hundreds, then you'll get to the million dollars eventually anyway. But people try to skip the thousands, the ten thousands and all of that stuff. So my point in saying that is if you got copy and paste rentals or if you got one of the business models working good in one city, just literally copy that to another city. And you do that over and over and over and over and over until you reach your goals, your financial goals. You don't have to, okay, so I got this income stream. All right, let me open up a flower shop. And then when that works, I'm going to open up a bowling app. No, 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 no. You just do what whatever's working. You do that over and over and over. And don't take for granted how much is working. Oh, it's only bringing me an extra thousand dollars a week. Okay, find out how to make that multiply per week. But keep doing the same thing, though. Do I need to get partners? and have them do exactly what I'm doing that makes a thousand bucks and I just give them a cut out of that and then get more partners, right? Like do what works over and over and over and over. Okay, so she says, yes, her partner has multiple locations. Awesomeness. Yeah, just do exactly what you're doing to get leads and stuff. And if you have problems, open up multiple accounts, guys. Don't forget, what are they called? Partners. Make them do it. Hey, you want me to help you scale? I, I can't get past this firewall over here or I can't get past this uh, situation blocking my IP or something like that. Please set up this Google business profile. Please set up this new thumbtack profile. OK. And then add me as a person on your account or something. So or something. I don't know. OK. So now George asks, also, please show us how. Oh, how to send the customer a receipt immediately after they pay via email and text. Is this an automation tool or can this be done via builder all? Um, no. <laughs> if you're collecting it through Cash App or um, Zelle until you uh, set up your high-risk merchant account like I showed you guys earlier. Once you go through one of those high-risk merchant accounts, you can do that. Uh, Easy Pay, I believe they'll let you guys in now. So just go ahead and try and set that up. All right. So once you go through them, then you know you can set up all of that. Like that, They'll set that stuff up for you. But as far as you collecting payments manually, like through a cash app or or, or a, a Zelle or something like that, they're going to get the receipt or the notification from Zelle or Cash App that they made the payment and who it's from and the date is on and all of that. That's all they need. You can send them a confirmation, uh, meaning like letting them know, okay, thank you. This is the time that your bus is going to like be at your house and pick you up and all of that. You're pretty much just re repeating what the quote said. Like on Thumbtack, okay, you're going to be picked up on Thursday, September 5th uh, at this time, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for, you know, working with whatever the name of your party bus company is. That's it until you get your merchant account set up. So like I said, go inside the new course because I redid it. You guys should see it. If you if you just got on here, copy and paste rentals, got the anime treatment. Not anime like the cartoon, anime like Tina Turner from from What's Love Got to Do with It. <laughs> she want to be made over, right? So like we got we made over made over the course. So it's way more simplistic. It answers all of our questions. It gets you straight to the money. You put action to it. You're going to cash in. All right, that's definitely a guarantee. Just do it. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. The as far as receipts and stuff is all this stuff is manual until you get your merchant account. Okay, good question though, man. Good question. All right. Yeah, no problem. No problem, man.
All right, who else? Who else? Let me see how many. There's still nine folks on here. Who else have a question? Because guess what? I haven't seen y'all testimonials, so some of y'all should have some questions. Abner said, are we going to get the helicopter course later today? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, but you didn't even know about that. Right? So make money with what you have. We had this conversation earlier. Guys, you don't need an abundance of options. It's going to be in there for you. But I want to see y'all like work with what you have. The scripture says, he that is faithful with little, the most high will make you. I mean, he believes that you'll be faithful with much. So that's when he'll start blessing you with more stuff. If you are horrible at managing things when you have a little, then maybe that's why a lot of the stuff that we want in life is being held back from us. Because he's like, damn, if I let them win the lottery, they're going to drink themselves to death or to crack themselves to death or spin themselves to poverty or, or do something crazy like that. So, guys, I want y'all to focus because right now, every single model y'all have in there right now, I'm not putting it in there for y'all to be confused or have shiny object syndrome. I'm putting it in there because those are niches that I have experience in and I know you can get results with it. So pick a niche. If you're going to do helicopter when it's in there, fine, do that. But you're never going to get anywhere if you're doing party bus now. Then you already then went over there and started Airbnb. Uh, and now when I put a helicopter in there, you're going to do that. No, do one, get it working, and then you can explore the others, all right? Just, just do me that solid pause right there, please. Okay? All right, just do do that, please. But yes, the helicopter, of uh, course, will be in there later today. Um, it's going to be drip fed because I am extremely tired from rushing and, like, answering all of these questions and recreating copy and paste rentals, the party bus section. So uh, certain parts will be available in, in the helicopter course. It ain't going to all just be splat right there. Get your mind out the gutters. Um, anybody else? Mark, Shay, iPhone, whoever that is, AB, George, Terrell, any other questions before I ride off into the rain? Because there's no sun right now. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Do 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 do. Do you have any more questions? Okay. Shay says, should we move away from call fire, being that we can do ringless voicemail? Um. No, because the ringless voicemail. I mean, I don't know what company you go through, but the company I do the ringless voicemails through, they don't have IVR. Um. You know, they don't have it to where, like, I mean, if you set up a blast in there, you still got to answer the phone live. Like, you have to answer the phone um, unless you have, like, some special voicemail that it'll go to and, and you'll be able to collect the information like that. But then the leads will still get cold and all of that. So the phone number, call fire is just, like, so that you can have services attached to your phone number. Ringless voicemail is just so that you can get your phone number in front of people, <laughs> right? So it had the the each platform has a separate goal and uh, different features. Unless you find a platform that does both, I'm pretty sure it is um, out there. I just use Cloudfire for so long. Right now, I just made an account over there on Call Rail, and I got a call with them to see because even with me, they're not even answering me no more over there on Cloudfire as far as to set up the IVRs. So I've been I've been working, y'all, trying to get y'all help and stuff. Like, y'all be thinking I ain't, you know, thinking about y'all. I am. Pretty much, probably more than I should be because I got kids and a wife. Uh, but, but yeah, I do. So they ain't been answering me on Call Fire either. So I'm uh, getting ready to talk to somebody from Call Rail. I don't have experience with call rail, but I'm going to see if they can set up an IVR with me on the call. So then I'll be able to like, um, you know, like set it up, help y'all set it up and do all of that extra stuff. Or you guys can get on a call with them and they can set it up, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to probably do it anyway, just so that I can put it into the training. Um, so it'll be another question that is answered for all. Um, but yeah, call fire has is, is, is been cool. It's been good, but they ain't answering me, so I got to ride out. Okay, so Chase said, yeah, I've been using them since I first came on with Effajob. <laughs> yeah, them the, them the good old old days. 
that's what anti job used to be uh named for y'all that are new around here. Shay has been around since the F a job days, like super old days with 17, 2018, 2019, or somewhere around that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, call fire, man. I don't know what's up with them, but I'm definitely finna, like, yeah, start moving off to somebody else. Mark says, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Mark says, is there a better way? Is there a way to get better leads? On Thumbtack, more specified to my niche, the send over, they send over people at times that don't need party buses. Um, well, I, I, I don't know. Like, what type of people are they sending over? Like, let me know. Like, I, I don't know why they're sending you people that don't need party buses. When you guys sign up as a party bus it asks you all of the services you provide sometimes we'll check everything it says travel events it gives the option for that it gives the option for limousine and chauffeur it gives the option for party buses and it gives the option for i think something else like charter or, or, or something like that maybe when you first signed up those were checked and you didn't realize maybe Maybe. OK, but usually you're going to get either party bus or limo leads. And remember, you can refuse leads. If somebody try to charge you for a lead that ain't got nothing to do with what you're doing, you just reach out to support and say, give me my money back. Give me my money back. You. Yeah. Y'all don't remember that song. Y'all y'all young, man. Y'all young. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they have to pay you back. They have to give you that money right back. Right. So, I mean, there's no danger there. Uh, but one thing I do want to say again, guys, just because you have a party bus site, what did we say about the other people? They have a gap. Right. They don't have like they got party buses, but they don't have limos. They have limos, but they don't have party buses. More people are going to want limousines then they are going to want party buses. That's the niche I started out in. But party buses are hot for certain occasions. But don't forget, there's more occasions that require limousines, proms. I mean, this is the new generation. They might be getting party buses for, for prom now. I don't know. But traditionally, you get a limo, stretch limo, stretch hummer or something like that for prom. Graduation, limo most of the time. Homecoming, limo. A uh, funeral. You definitely ain't getting no dang on party bus with that. You shouldn't. I mean, I don't know. A lot of y'all be having weird funerals now. This new generation is freaking retarded. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what other occasions? Corporate events. People like to slide up looking like Michael Jackson with the limo. You ain't going to no corporate event and no party bus. I mean, you probably could. They'll draw a lot of attention to yourself. They'll definitely be talking about that. I'm going to use that as a, a networking technique when I go somewhere. Okay. Thank you. But Traditionally, you're not going to a, a networking event or a corporate event in a, in, a, in a party bus. You'll use a limo or a black car service. So these are things that you guys can consider if your leads are slow with party buses or they're saying it's expensive or if you're getting more people or opportunities for limos that you see in the opportunity tab, then guess what? Add limos. But how do I charge? You do the exact same thing you did with the party buses. You contact them like, OK, all right. So now I need a quote for limos. I know the limos are probably going to be a little bit cheaper. So what's your hourly rate during the week for limos? What's your hourly rate on the weekends? Plus gratuity, like you said, on the weekends. What is your hourly minimum as well? Because I'm about to start sending people for limos. OK, and that's literally what you're doing. You just go back in there and you set up a new service and you can find that in the thumbtack tutorial as well. OK, you set up a new service and this time you make it all about limo. OK, not a new account. I'm saying in the same account, you just create you add a service. They give you the option to add a service and you're going to add the service, give it the same irresistible offer. Only you're going to switch the words party bus with limousine and you're going to switch the prices, obviously. OK, if you start getting messages, yo, 
supply for the demand. If you start getting messages talking about, I need black car service, then do it. It's not like you got to go and buy the cars for this stuff. Somebody else already got it. Leverage them. So all you're doing is, all right, now I offer that. I gave you guys party bus so that you can focus, so zone in, so you wouldn't be all over the place. But if it's more demand for a different service in your area, you these are models. These are formulas. These are laws. You can switch it to any niche, and it will work the exact same way. Okay? So... Yeah, man, like whatever service they're coming in, guess what? They're coming in, man. One of the hardest things in business is to get people to come to you rather than you having to chase them down. So, guys, I don't think y'all realize how much weight the leads hold and you guys are spoiled. You're getting leads your first, second, third day in business when when I was trying to do certain things. This stupid dog. Have a seat. Dog is dumb. All right. When I was trying to do business back in the day, before all of these directories, when I was doing SEO, I would have to wait months sometimes before the first phone call came in. Y'all get into a program and on the same day with no experience, you start getting leads, right? So you literally just have to tweak a few things, guys. You're this close to getting what you want. You just have to tweak a few things. But remember, where the, the, where the demand is, you just have to plug in. Like, imagine the, the demand is a leak. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just like flowing out and it's about to flood your bathroom. Okay? And now, what is that stuff that... that, that never mind, that was going to sound inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> what's the stuff that you, like, fill the holes in the, the drywall and all of that stuff with? Shit, I cannot think of the dang on name. But anyway, that is the supply. That's the party buses, the black cars, the limos, all of that. Your job is to plug in that leak. Plug that demand with the supply of limos or black cars. Whatever demand is happening in your town, that is what you get the supply for. So, yeah, okay, they they hitting you up for something different. Guess what? All right, well, I'm going to go get a partner for that right there just so I can have that partner on standby just in case I get some more of these leads right here. This person got $5,000 they can spend for this. I don't know why I'm 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 showing up for, you know, uh, house rewiring, but uh, but whatever. I'm going to go find me a partner for this. This is a big project right here. You hear me? So, like, do what you got to do, y'all. Okay? Uh. Right, he's saying, Shay say, hmm, I've, I've never got nine party bus leads from Thumbtack. That's what I was saying. Maybe at the beginning when you set it up, make sure y'all take your time. Sometimes they have little boxes that you can check or check off um, on, on these little applications and stuff. So just read it real slow and take your time and make sure you're only like checking the services that you want to do. That could be it. I'm not accusing you of anything that could possibly be it okay if it's not then you can simply just refuse any non-related leads that come in that you don't want to do that's all um mark said charter buses for 70 70 people are people that only need to be picked up for one way or one hour okay so that like i said that goes back to when you first signed up if they're sending you that that was one of the options charter buses OK, so it must have been checked. You can go in there and you can uncheck it or <laughs> you can just ask your partners. Hey, y'all got charters, right? Yeah, we got charters. Cool. I got this lead. Matter of fact, do this before. Do this now. Hit up your partner and be like, look, I got um 70 people that want a, char a charter bus. Like, what can you do with that? OK. And once again, like I said, we want a four hour block, guys. But don't turn down nothing but your dang on collar in my E40 voice. If if somebody come in that like need a one way or one hour, that's why I said get. If you're in copy and paste rentals, you should have more than one partner. Agency to partner people, I tell them to get one partner. But if you're in copy and paste rentals, then you need more than one partner. That way you don't have to turn anybody away. So if one of your partners like now. We got a three hour minimum. That's it, buddy. 
then fine, you should have a partner that does hourly. Oh, well, I don't have that one. Well, get back to Google. Find out who does hourly. Go on Thumbtack. Go through the other listings of people that are on there, and you'll see it's going to be somebody that has their hourly rate, and they do hourly. Fine. Hit them up. Like, yo, I'm about to send you people. You're going to be my hourly person. They're going to be like, cool. Listen, partnerships, guys. Partnerships mean every damn thing. It was something I wanted to show y'all on this call about partnerships. It was something I had screenshotted or, or something. I have to post it in a group or something. I can't remember. Jeez. Dang. It's always something on my mind, man. But it was something that uh, this person just had like one new partner, one new connect. If they didn't have this partner, they would have missed out on $10 million. Y'all need to become obsessed with partners. They don't have to be your best friends. Now, you ain't got to call them on Sundays and bless them or nothing like that. You ain't got to go to church with them if you don't want to. You ain't got to have brunch with them if you don't want to. But you need to have them in your back pocket. I was reading about that in the scripture this morning. And he was talking about make friendly with the mammon of unrighteousness. What? Why would it, why would God, well, that was Christ speaking. Why would Christ tell us to make friendly with the mammon of unrighteousness? Because in that parable, he was talking about a man that when he was down on his luck, he didn't have anybody that would help him because he was this high and mighty holy man that looked down on everybody else or treated people uh, differently or something like that. So when he was down on his luck, he didn't have no connections because these people weren't like him. Of course, you want your best friends to be like you. The scripture says every beast should love his like what consorted a wolf with a sheep, of course. But in business, I mean, wasn't King Solomon super rich and in business with Herod? He was not an Israelite. That was of another nation. But everybody will tell you that Israelites, we're not supposed to deal with other nations, right? But King Solomon is the richest man past, future, present. Okay, so guys, don't be afraid of partners. That should be a daily task. I will be become obsessed with partners. Like, be, like yo, get every ounce of business owner out of your city as you can. I'm out here in a country where I don't know the language, even though I should by now, but I'm so busy always doing this. I, I be tired. I don't feel like <laughs> I be tired, man. I know I would have learned it if it went no Google Translate by now. I know I know enough to get around, but I'm not fluent. I'm gonna get fluent. But in the next couple of weeks and months, you guys are gonna see me out there doing stuff that I don't normally do on camera. Uh these are things that I already do. Like I'm I'm like buying businesses out here and partnering with people, not buying them out of my pocket. Yeah, I know how I do. You know, I use my skills because guess what? In different countries, they don't know nothing about this SEO, Facebook ad stuff. So I'm literally like a, a freaking king out in these places. So You're I can right. leverage that to, to own businesses out yes. here. That, yes, that no, aren't no. This is company with in a middle class life. Hold on. All right. So, guys. Yo, partners, get as many partners as you can. That's going to bless your life. So if you fall, the scripture says, uh, be uh, make friendly with the mammon of unrighteousness so that if you fall or if you, you know, are without, you'll have somebody to have your back. If you're doing marketing and you're not draining all of these, let's say you run into legal troubles. I used this example earlier when I was doing Bible study with my, uh, my family. You run into legal trouble. You've been doing marketing for four lawyers. You get wrongfully accused. These are the best lawyers in the city. I want all of y'all on my case. All y'all, all four of y'all going to work my case. I've been sending y'all millions of dollars a year. Partnerships, man, you, you're going to get off. You got the best four lawyers in the dang on state. And they owe you. Like, partnerships is everything. They're everything. So become obsessed with that. Okay. Mark says, I still use those leads. At first I didn't, if they don't have a four hour minimum, but some of my partners have those size buses, or I would let the customer know that I may charge for four hours or send the lead to my partners. Leads never die. Exactly. If you're in the agency, the partner program, 
dog, if you don't leverage these leads, man, I mean, if you're in copy and paste rentals, I already just showed y'all what to do with leads. You can resell the mugs. But if you're in, in agency to partner, you use them mugs as bait to get a partner. You lasso they butt in. You understand? what well, You hear what I'm <laughs> Come on. Use them leads, right? You charge high, but that doesn't mean every other party bus, you know, company calls high, uh, charges high. So if they haven't already talked to your partner and got a quote, guess what? You send them there, and that's going to be a new lead for that partner. And they're going to be able to close a percentage of that. And guess who they have to thank for it? Exactly. They're in, in your debt now, okay? All right. Uh, Mark said, I'm going to go recheck that for sure. All right. It is 2. Damn, it looked like it's later than 2, but I still got to eat, y'all. I am hungry with an O in there. Uh, oh, Anna, you, I'm hungry, all right? So I got to get to it, you understand? Uh, we still, for a limited time, have the three-hour setup session with me and Curtis. Yes, it is 5K, but as you guys saw today, you don't have to pay that. We have financing now, so there's no excuses. If you guys have been in here for a couple months and you have not converted, if you've considered giving up or trying a different business model, I would strongly urge you to get one of our sessions because that's all it would take. OK, especially three hours. Do what we say. And you have ongoing uh, ongoing support and you're going to close. You're going to get it. We don't leave anybody in the dust. All right. All right. So love you guys. I got to ride. Talk to you later.